is your name? Uh, my name is Seamus Gate. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Reading, England. Are you a student? Yes, I believe I am. Um, I am currently studying medicine, undergraduate at the University of Bristol. What year are you in? Uh, I've just finished my second year. I've passed my second year and I'm going into my third year. My degree involves the teaching or providing you with fundamental skills and techniques to diagnose and treat illnesses. James. Yes. Do you enjoy your degree? Uh, I'd say I do. Definitely, yeah. Can you explain a little? Um, I think it's very, very interesting. I really enjoy the different people I get to meet. I think, you know, you get a very good insight into people's lives that you wouldn't get anywhere else. And I also think it's quite nice to be able to make a difference in someone's life in a way that I don't think anyone else truly can. Do you think a medical degree is harder than most other degrees? It depends in what sense. I think if you're talking about the physical difficulty of the tests and, you know, the amount of knowledge you have to know, I wouldn't say it was necessarily the most difficult. You could certainly argue that something like engineering, economics, veterinary medicine particularly, or even dentistry, you, you know, those sort of degrees, you can argue in terms of the amount of knowledge you need to know most difficult. However, in terms of the more human and emotional aspects of the degree, first of all, it's a five-year degree. That in itself, you know, you, you're at uni two years longer than the vast majority of people who go to uni. I'll also say that there is often quite a difficult aspect to it. You are dealing with people who are very ill and you are, you know, often we do come across some quite emotionally challenging things. However, it's, it's how you deal with them. Yeah, in that sense, I'd say it's more difficult than most degrees. What is your workload like? My workload is quite busy, especially now. Um, it's about to busy up a lot. I'm moving into third year when I start my placement, which is going to be, I think, quite challenging. I'm going to be spending a lot of my time in the hospital, as well as any work I need to do outside of that to get ready for the next day or a project I have coming up. So uh, the workload um, is starting to creep up quite a lot. It's going up to around anywhere between six and nine hours of proper work every day. What is the easiest and what is the hardest part of your degree? Um, easiest part? Or even is there an easy part? Uh, well, there is one easy part for me, drinking the coffee required to do it. <laughs> All joking aside, I wouldn't say it was necessarily an easy aspect of the course. Medicine, it is a course that you do to challenge yourself. It's not for the faint of heart. The most challenging aspects I think of it, at least for me personally, was kind of learning the more human side of it and building up your ability to not necessarily sympathise with someone, but do you know what I mean by empathise with yes, someone? Yeah. Even though you've never been through what that person's going through, trying to build up that ability to, regardless of your personal opinions or regardless of your personal situation, be able to support a patient best you can in the most emotionally way sensitive possible. What traits do the best medical students have? Fundamentally, whether you like it or not, hardworking. I have some friends on my course who are a bit louder. I have some friends on my course who are a bit quieter. I think it's quite nice because there's a mishmash of different sorts of characters and different sorts of people. However, I think the one sort of trend which follows all of them is that they're all relatively hardworking and they're all very willing to always go above and beyond what you're doing. Do you do anything extra on top of your current Related to medicine, I do a few different things. The main thing would be I'm currently teaching basic life support, so that's CPR and basic first aid, to other medical students as part of an organisation within my university. It's student-led and it offers a good bit of experience teaching as well, which I quite liked. What don't other non-medical students understand about your degree? A lot of people who don't do courses specifically with a placement aspect to them often struggle to... Uh, so I remember in first year at one point, this was during COVID and in-person placement had just started back up and I spent the day in the hospital and you know, it was a really good day, really enjoyed it, learned an awful lot. I got home, I was a bit tired and my flatmate comes up and says hello and I'm like, oh, you know, you're right, how you doing? Um, just sat there, had a cup of tea and 
he went, oh yeah, do you want to go and do something? I'm like, well, not really, I've just got him from placement. He couldn't seem to wrap his head around the idea that I had been doing something which is similar to a day of work. Not exactly the same, obviously, like it is different and we are learning as part of it. So it's kind of a cross between, you know, a lesson and work but in terms of it still just as tiring as doing a full day of work it was quite strange because he couldn't quite wrap his head around that idea he thought that i'd just been in for one or two group sessions and then that was it and i was like no, no 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 i've been in for like a full i've done like a full day nine to five like a conventional office job here's a, here's a really simple question for you first year or second year which, which of you prefer? first year first actually no year. no no no, no. I think first year was a, certainly a lot more relaxed and also, for example, first year, because it was year of COVID, we had no in-person lectures, so commuting wasn't really a thing and it was quite nice because the way and the fashion it was taught, we had two or three group sessions a week, but then after that, it was very much your choice and I quite enjoyed that personally. However, I think second year, I think overall, has been a lot more of an interesting year. You know, near the end of lockdown, I got quite sick of just, it felt like you'd spent your whole life just talking to a computer and it was kind of weird seeing everyone, but just being able to see people and work with them, because ultimately that's what our degree's about. I think in terms of the work, the actual physical doing the work, I preferred first year, but I think overall, as an overall package, I think second year was better. What do you think your weak spots actually are as a medical student? Most likely my ability to focus. Obviously it is very, very long hours and often there is quite a lot of monotonous stuff in there. Things like, I think the classic example is the Krebs cycle. Learning the Krebs cycle and how... Well, can you explain what the Krebs cycle is? I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Very um, so the Krebs cycle is a cycle that goes on in the body. Okay and um it's, it's a it's a bodily function it is a bodily function that goes on within cells so it has a massive component in the body's okay, metabolism yes. but you know things like that which um you just have to learn and remember it there is a lot of monotony like that it takes you hours to learn it you learn it you apply it in your exam and then quite often you find <laughs> very quickly it disappears yeah, and you have to go ironically you have to go around in cycles learning the Krebs cycle <laughs> but no I think overall it's just it's one of these things which whether you like it or not you've got to learn it it's learning to be able to deal with those moments of it's not complete and utter boredom <laughs> um, it's but not really are saving lives yeah it's it, it, you know sitting there in front of your computer screen in the evening but it you know it is what it is and I think overall it's worth it at least yeah. I hope overall it's worth it <laughs> Oh, <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs> Have you made any in particular massive mistakes? What was your biggest mistake as a medical student? Um, not doing the work as it comes. Ah, yeah. So let being like, oh yeah, I can do that next weekend or I can do this then. My general rule for anyone going to uni, this doesn't just apply to medicine, it applies to every single degree. Do work when it is given to you straight away or as soon as possible don't sit there being like oh yeah the deadline's not for three months i'm not gonna do that believe me you'll be doing yourself a massive favor by getting because once it's done ultimately you can forget about it but there's nothing worse than sitting there eight ten hours before a deadline with still three four hundred words to write and you're like oh my goodness what am i gonna do i've barely finished writing this let alone going through it edited it it's just not worth the stress and also fundamentally you're not going to produce the same quality Quality of work when you're rushing something a few hours before a deadline ultimately I think it's more important that you you know you're doing yourself a massive favor you're doing your sanity a massive favor and you're doing your grades a massive favor by just prioritizing your work and making sure it gets done early not late <laughs> like I did <laughs>